you know what I want? I want, I want to take that little troll that emailed me, that PM'd me. Yeah. I want to take that little troll, and I want to, uh, I want, I want to crucify him on a cross. There we go. I want to nail him to a cross. Uh-huh. And then, out in the desert, of course, and then as he's hanging up there on the cross, uh, make sure it's an anthill or, a, you know, fire ants or termites. Or fire ants probably work better. Then, while he's up there on the cross, screaming and begging, cover him with honey. And that way, you know, the uh, fire ants will have a uh, nice feast for a couple of weeks. How was I not pronouncing it correctly? You were saying it was a feast, a feast, a Again, if you're making fun of the way I talk. I was making the fun of the way you're pronouncing Knock it. it off. The way you were pronouncing Knock that word was off. funny. Because it's just... I am kind of sick of it at this point. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Not as disgusting as you walking around half naked. Yeah. That was an amp soda. Not as satisfying as a beer would be right now. When is the loose up here? Uh, next summer. Okay. Hopefully, I'll have a job with it. Or a career. In either writing, acting, or public speaking. I'm not going to worry about uh, doing what the peons want me to do. You know, the peons, the peons think everyone should work at, you know, Jack in the Box or as a janitor or, you know, a ditch digger, whatever. But those, those are the uneducated masses. Those are the uneducated peons. Me, however, you know, my time is... Easily worth ten dollars an hour. Easily worth ten dollars an hour. So if I if I am unable to find a job which pays me ten dollars an hour, I'm actually working below what I'm actually worth. And what if you were to make get a job paying you nine dollars an hour? I would probably take it because right now I need money to pay. Bills. Okay. What if you were offered a job? Eight dollars an hour. Depends on what it would be. If it was cleaning, you know, up shit, um, it would have to be a twenty an hour, twenty dollar an hour job. There are um, no twenty dollars an hour jobs cleaning were, up bathrooms. Um, if it was the president's bathroom, then it's probably a twenty dollar an hour job. Well. And that's because of his importance. Whereas Michael Moore, that ba his bathroom would be twenty dollars an hour simply because there's probably so much fecal matter encrusted onto the walls from. His, but you, um, you would not take a job paying eight dollars an hour to clean to clean bathrooms at I, like a bus station. I, I I'd be hard pressed, but yes, I would probably do that. All right, would you take I, a job paying seven dollars an hour? You well, would not again. I again. It depends on doing what. Doing what. Doing work and getting paid for it. Uh, well, see, and see. Here's the thing. Like, I have a tendency to only work at a job for a short time before I either get so disgusted with it, and quit, or I get fired. Therefore, it's to my advantage to focus on getting a job, a career, making money, doing what I'm good at rather than just any old job to pay the bills. Right now I am looking for any old job to pay the bills. But So a seven dollar an hour job which would be fine, would pay the but, bills. But what I would do, well, see and here's the thing, this is this is I kick myself for uh, because what I did when I was working at Circle K was instead of I mean, I, I got I got a big ass night. I had a big ass nice apartment. I had you know 
I mean, it, it was heaven. It really was heaven. But then I lost the job, and then I lost my uh, disability money, so I was completely broke. With only one of those, there'd be no way. I mean, uh, you know, one of those would cover rent and nothing else. Um, either the Circle K or the Social Security Disability Money. But, which I know people are going to sit there. You're not, you know, here's another side issue, though. And I'll go back to the main issue. Okay. If somebody's physically disabled, and you're going to call them retarded, you're an asshole. Now, if you call somebody who's not physically disabled a retard, you're just an idiot. Either way, you look bad. It's a side issue. Back to the job aspect of it. Um, when I was working at Circle K, what I should have been doing is every time I got a paycheck, I, I should have invested in acting classes, um, video equipment, um, you know, stuff that would have benefited me as far as career-wise. Getting headshots, getting a demo reel, that kind of a thing. But I didn't, so the next job that I got, I'm going to focus on investing in that kind of stuff too. Along with, you know, paying half the rent and paying for the phone and all the other stuff. Because I know Happy is getting, you know, irritated by the fact that I'm just living here for free. And I'm more irritated than he is about that fact. Because I don't want to be a slug. I don't want to be a parasite. And the classes that I'm taking at church is so I can become a practitioner and then I can, that'll give me more credibility as far as being a writer. A practitioner of what? Of the religion. Of it's, it's religious science. The book is Science of the Mind by Ernest Holmes. And I'm going to do some videos about it. You're going to become a, a practitioner it's, it's, of the science of mind. It's a, yes, it's a philosophy. It's a religious science. It's a philosophy based on uh, the teachings of Ernest Holmes. Ernest Holmes? I right. have the book. You want to see the book? No, I'm just trying to think of who Ernest... Call I know who Ernest P. Worrell is, but I don't. No. Know, I never heard of Ernest Holmes. Uh, I think so, but that's the book. Uh, there you're the book it's right there. Thick book. Very thick book. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got science of the mind. It's okay, so there we go. It, it could be considered you so, know, a sacred text for the 20th century. All so. right. So when you become a practitioner for the science of mind, then what? I can actually eventually. Would you be like a pastor of a science of mind church or something like that? Uh, so, yeah, basically similar to that. Yeah. Okay. Um, they, I mean, they have actual people who are the ministers and whatnot. A practitioner could eventually become a minister and have their own church. Uh -huh. So if I do this, if I become a, a... And I mean, because I have a degree in the theater and religious studies, I can either be a uh, shaman or a cult leader. So I've decided, well, I'm going to be a little bit of both and be a priest. I know what a cult leader is, but what is a shaman? A shaman is uh, like the medicine man, like for you know, those Native American religions. The guy with the bone through his nose who's dancing around the fire, summoning spirits. Alright, real shaman. quick. Which dog? Real quick. Somebody photoshopped Spike Bravo with a bone through his nose. Okay. <laughs> it's like a witch doctor or something. Asked, but uh, you'd be able to uh, to turn that practitioner thing into like a uh, career type thing, right? Yes. Alright. How long do you think it would take to become a practitioner? It's going to be about three years. Three years? Well, not maybe not that long. Kind of depends. <laughs> okay. So three years on that one. I'm not going to be living with you for three years, so don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> what I need to focus uh. on is the good stuff. Just like I need to focus on this stuff and being positive and happy instead of uh, all the things that go wrong, which is difficult for me because I grew up in a very negative environment. Extremely uh -huh. negative environment. So just remember, when there are balloon caricatures doing impersonations of you on YouTube, 
Just think happy thoughts. Instead of the homicidal rage that I feel. Where I that is correct. Take a thumbtack to them. <laughs> <clears throat> well, and it's, it's about being and, and besides, I've also ran each and every video by you before I posted it. It's just exactly, and it's, it's fine. Yes. Um, but it, when, when you're thinking happy thoughts and stuff like that, it's, it's not the fake happiness. It's and there have been a few times that you've told me not to post stuff on the internet, I and I that. haven't posted I it. That. And when, I, when I'm saying happy thoughts, I'm talking about genuine happiness where you feel connected to the universe, you feel connected to the divine. I'm not talking the, uh, the societal, schizophrenic, you know, people who sit around going, I'm happy, my first act, please, I'm happy, you know. And then three days later, they're like, we golden scissors, <laughs> you know. I mean, honestly, I'm saying I could just go and, like, make a video where I talk about some of the definitions. Okay, well, go make a video. I could. Well, go do it. Not now. I'm, Not now? Uh, I'm in the for a beer, but at the same time, I haven't finished this. All right, finish your am. Go get your beer, get all liquored up, and go make your video. Yeah, just like when you get liquored up when she's freaky fire. That's right. Go, go bother Graham and friends, okay? Hey, I'll tell you what, man. You are a closet chaser, and you know it. I am not. I see you growing that beard just like Graham had. <laughs> You're disgusting. That's right, man. No, Graham. You're Graham becoming shaved. a bear. Graham You got shaved. the beard. Graham. You got the belly coming out. Graham There's shaved. some bear in you. Spike Bravo, would you like a little... Would, do you have a little bear in you? Do you want a little bear in you? 